Hello everyone, this is Denise with Creates with Love and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought it would be super fun and this is a really easy project. I went ahead and, and got the file all ready for you. These are just images that I have sliced and contoured from Cricut Design Space and it's for a to put on a charger plate or any kind of plate that you would like, but this one is sized specifically for a charger plate, but you can always uh, change the size if you like. And it's for reindeer treats. So I thought that would be fun this time of year, something really quick. It could be a gift. Keep in mind, my type of charger plate is not a food safe plate. So this is just for decor or to, you know, be for fun and put carrots out on the plate before you go to bed at night. Anyhow, so like I said, all these files are already prepared. All you need to do is if it's the size that you want, would be to click on make it. If it's not the size you want, then you can ungroup and resize what you need, or you can also click the arrow key and move it in and see if that works for your plate as well. So there's some choices for you. Alrighty, so let me just go ahead and click on make it. And this is going to be vinyl. So right here are the two eyes. I'm going to use sparkle vinyl for that. I don't need to mirror because it is vinyl. Here, I just wanted to double check to see if I wanted to move these over. And it looks like I'm going to go ahead, just want to see if I can kind of save some material. And it looks like I would be better off if I cut these two side by side and put this over here. I think that will enable me to save the most material for me. And then this one looks good just as it is. So make sure that one stayed and it did. Go back here and then click on continue. And it's going to hook up to my maker here. Now I've got several different vinyls going on here. Um, the first one is a holographic sparkle vinyl, but I've been using this for, for making some wine glasses. And I have found that actually instead of using, uh, at least for my Cricut Maker, instead of using the one that says specifically for holographic sparkle, which is right here, I found that the premium vinyl actually cut it better for me. So there's a, a hint in case your machine is, is working like mine. This, for me, even when I put it on less pressure, it cut all the way through. So I don't know what's up with that, but on my machine, premium vinyl worked perfectly. And I'm going to have to come back and change. Now, this is premium vinyl, vinyl as well, so that's perfect. But this is a, a different vinyl, and I might choose to change that. I'll see. All right, so let's go ahead and go on over to the maker where it shows all we need to do is load the fine point blade and load the mat and hit go we should be good okay so i'm heading over to the maker behind me here and it's got the load button up and the first one up was the sparkle so let me just show you real quick this is the charger plate i thought this would be cute because that reindeer file it has a hole and it's going to make it look like it's rude off with the shiny red nose through. So anyway, there's the plate. And like I said, this one I got from Hobby Lobby. It was 40% off at $3.99. Keep in mind, you can find charger plates really cheap at the Dollar Tree and the Dollar Store. So, you know, keep your eye out there for them as well. But to find, I really wanted the red sparkle for this one. So hence why I got that one. Okay, so let me set this aside here. Okay, this is my sparkle vinyl. This is what it came in. Hopefully you can see that okay. Like I said, I've been using this to make wine glasses and it's really, really pretty. So let me just take move this here. Take my cover sheet off. And since it's vinyl, we're just gonna put it shiny side up. Or the good side up or the pretty side up and I'm gonna load the mat and hit go
Okay, and hit the unload button. That was really quick. Put this in just so I can keep my mat clean. It's always a good idea to turn your mat upside down. Okay, now we're going to switch to the black vinyl. And this is the uh, Cricut Premium Vinyl. I wanted to show you guys real quick because I've seen um, some complaints about how their vinyl is after taking it out of this tube. And I just wanted to show you something really quick. What I do is I just take my, my Cricut knife blade and I just slice where the tape goes and I pull this off. I like to store it in here. It keeps it nice and, and, and clean and dust free and everything for me. What I do, a, a lot of people are pulling it from the inside that way, and that's going to hurt your vinyl the more that you do it. So what I do is I just put my fingers inside, and I just tighten it a little bit. And when you do that, you're able to pull out the whole roll. And then same thing, when you put it back in, you just make it smaller than the actual tube, and it ends up, you know, straightening out like that. So I just wanted to show you that real quick. It's super easy and this will help keep extend the life of your vinyl and not ruin the outside pieces from pulling that inside out over and over. So since this is all in a roll, I'm just gonna put it like here. That way I don't have to worry. You can do it either way. You, you can cut the size if you already know kind of what size you need, you can do that as well. I prefer this method, it doesn't hurt it by having it stick on here. If I had a new mat, you know, a super, super sticky mat, I might decide not to do it this way. I might just kind of measure out what I think I'm going to need. But this should be just fine. And hit the load. And go. time too but my goodness I didn't realize how much I would use it for vinyl until one day I was out and I was like why am I not using this you can line it up perfectly with this line okay and then like I was saying before to roll this back up you just put your fingers back in you tighten it just enough to fit back into your tube. Doesn't matter if it's like that, you just want it to fit in your tube. Doesn't matter which end you put in. Push it down and there it goes. All right, so there's that. Okay, get this out of the way for ya. Now we're gonna switch over to the brown vinyl. This is a different, it's not a Cricut brand. Um, I don't remember what brand it is. It was a gift. It came in a, a nice big pack, all separately. Nothing is rolled up, which I like. This feels a little heavyweight, so I'm going to switch back over to my computer. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch over to right across where it says material set to premium vinyl. I'm going to click on the right hand. There's a little drop down arrow, and I'm going to click on browse all materials. And I'm going to put in vinyl in the drop down for categories and I'm going to put premium outdoor vinyl 
And the reason being is this vinyl is a little bit thicker. Alrighty, so here I am back. Hit the little button. And hit go. Okay, so this needs transfer tape. This needs transfer tape. I've got some spare here. Let me see if this is not going to fit. It's definitely not going to fit that. So I'll use some of this on here. Always keep your scraps. You see how like two pieces of, of extra came in handy for today's project. So, I don't know if you've been watching, but what I like to do is start at the top, put it on nice and nice and smooth, and then I like to, whoa, <laughs> falling stuff. I like to pull it out as I go and just kind of move my hand over it, and I find that way gets, for me, gets the least amount of bubbles. If you do get something like this, it's okay. Just kind of push it on in. Basically, we're just using this to transfer the image so it doesn't have to be perfect on here. Use your brandisher. Brandisher, whatever it's called. <laughs> and just get it nice and smooth on there. A lot of times I like to do it from the back side. A, it's smooth, right? This doesn't stick on the edges of the vinyl, so. And you're burnishing it towards the item that you're wanting it, right? You're wanting it to stick to the transfer tape, so. These two ready to go. We just have these two left. Double check, looks good. So, same thing, I'll start at the top so I just get the corner going. I know that I'm going to want it straight down, so if I line this straight here, then I don't even have to worry about it. It's just automatically going to go straight down and follow my design. And just pull it out and smooth as you go. I know that's probably kind of hard to see, but so as I'm moving this way, I'm pulling this. My finger is just going right across. And bring it up if I can get underneath it. There we go. Burnish it in. And do one more. Oops. Well, it looks like I'm missing a piece. Ah, when I pull the tape off, interesting, I pulled a piece of that out. Well, let me just double check and make sure I have enough. And I do, I can fill it underneath. Okay, we're okay. Ooh. So what I'm gonna do when I do this one is I'm gonna make sure 
but I line it up this way, closer to here, so I don't have to worry about this anymore. Or as it comes out, it's right about there, so right like that. Smooth as I go. I'm going to trim this a little bit, it'll be easier for me. Especially for lining it up on a curved tray. Out of the way. All right, so let me just grab the plate. Now, I have cleaned this since I brought it home from the store. Look at this tack here out of the way. I cleaned it with Windex, but anytime that you apply vinyl to anything, you want to make sure that it's cleaned with. Um, rubbing alcohol. I keep rubbing alcohol in here. I haven't labeled it yet. I need to do that. You can just spray it basically. Let me just do, let me line this up first real quick just to make sure we're good here. Perfect. Okay. So you just want to real quickly, you don't need much. I'm going to do it a little bit off camera, but you can see it's just, it's just spray. I just want to do the top and the bottom. And use a lint-free cloth or a coffee filter works as well. And you just want to get any lotion or dirtiness, oils, whatever, off so that the vinyl has a chance to adhere. So I don't have to worry about touching it on the side because vinyl is not going there. I wash my hands before I start every perfect project anyway. I started doing that typically <laughs> when I started using infusible ink. It's just good practice. Whoa, flying reader. Okay, perfect. That is ready and prepped. That's all you need to do to prep for a vinyl project. Put this stuff out of the way so I don't have anything else flying around. Okay, so let's do the reindeer first. Okay, so I'm just going to pull this up and see if it is sticking to it. If it is, then we can just fold this back. There we go. Sure, my head's not in your way. Hopefully, you can see this okay. I'm gonna check the camera real quick. Okay, it looks like you can see it. Okay, so I'm gonna put it right about there. And as we go down, just like we were putting on the transfer tape, you just smooth as you go. Just go a little bit at a time. Sorry that flap gets in your way. And check that and make sure everything's okay. I don't press just firmly yet, just in case some weird thing happens. I'm just lightly smoothing it over. And I find that when I do this method, I have the least amount of any bubbles or folding of the vinyl. Just makes life so much easier. Okay, so that looks good. It's on nice and straight. Let me get my burnisher again. I could do this with my fingers as well. With this type of project, it's not camera, sorry about that. It should 
be good. Just pull back, and it looks perfect. It is sticking just how we want it to. And just be careful when you pull this back, just in case, but 99.9% .9 of the time, it's going to be okay as long as you burnished it just fine. So now some of these bubbles are actually, I don't know if you can see that, are actually in the plate. So that'd be nice. Okay. So now I'm going to see where I want the eyes to go. Actually, you know what I might do is just go ahead and stick this onto the back of this. So in order not to not get the transfer stick, stick, what I'm going to have to do is peel this actually off, right? So if I put it down just like this, then when we go to put it down, the transfer tape is going to be stuck on there. No, no. Just going to carefully peel this eye off. Just like that. Perfect. And then peel this one. As you can see, it's not an exact science. We don't have to be that careful lining it up because the only part that's going to show is inside of this little black circle. So, yay. We're not having to be perfect. <laughs> and the good thing with this kind of vinyl, too, is it is... Um, it's the same color on both sides. Not all permanent vinyl is, but this particular one is. All right, here we go. Now I can just put this exactly where I want it to go. So the only part that I really have to worry about lining up is going to be right where the nose part is. So we know that once we have that part lined up, we are good to go. And just burnish that on. I'm just using my fingers this time. Get the corner up. All right. I'm just gonna pull this back very slowly. You want to make sure it doesn't pull anything up. It's looking good. Perfect. So cute. So the only thing left is the words. There we go. Okay, so for the reindeer, that's the only one we really have to be super, super careful. Not super careful, but you know what I mean, kind of careful. I had this lined up in the file before, so you just want to try to line it up so that you have an even space around where you want it to go. So I'm just going to, whoop, I moved it. <laughs> and really you could even do this freehand. That looks good, but I'm going to try it this way. So if you're concerned about it, this is how I would do it. If you're concerned about getting the letter just perfectly on. So you pretty much just kind of do it the way we've been doing it. So almost like the hinge method. So you just pull enough, just enough of this back to get it to start to stick. And you could even pull it up. Okay. There we 
you go. And now I've got this lined how I want it to go, and the rest, it's basically going to do it for us as long as we just reach under there and start pulling that back, just like we were doing for the transfer tape. So you just want to go slow, do one letter at a time, just so that way you make sure that it's not sticking. You want to make sure it's after actually coming off of the transfer tape. And like I said, once you have it lined up here and you just follow the flow, you don't have to worry about it being lined up because you already did that part. Perfect. And now you want to burnish it in. Now you could also make this very same file using um, removable vinyl in case you wanted to use this for a different project, you know, within a couple years. But I, I plan on keeping this and I wanted it just like this and I'm not going to change the plate to something else. Some things I do with removable vinyl, this one I'm choosing, I like it. I think the grandkids will get a kick out of it. So it'd be something fun to have on display at Christmas time. All right. Ta-da! And one more to go, and then we are done. All righty, so same thing. looking at the top, looking at the reindeer, just eyeball on it. This type of project, you really don't need to be worried and measuring and all that. Okay, so we got that on. And just smooth it as you go. Super easy. Done. Yay! So there we go. Reindeer treats. I think that's really cute. I've got a little plate stand here that I'm going to put it on. Although I don't think you'll be able to see it. But that's, that is my plan. Let me put it down. So anyway, there's the plate stand. And then the plate just goes on it like that. And I'm going to put it up on top of the on top of the china cabinet or maybe in the living room or by the fireplace maybe up on the mantel anyway so i hope you enjoyed this project as you can see it's super easy really quick and happy holidays take care and remember to create with love bye